Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Crimson Dawn Lore, where I, the author, teach you, the viewer, about the world of Crimson Dawn. Today's episode is on the SR-24, which is a personal defense weapon based off the real-life SR-2. A little behind the scenes info, I was inspired to update the weapon for Crimson Dawn since I used it a lot in Battlefield 4, and I thought it would be a great addition to the new Soviet Union's vastly growing arsenal of small arms. Anyway, let's get into the lore of this firearm. Developed in the year 2024 by the new Soviet Union as a direct improvement to the SR-2 Varisk, and as their answer to the German MP7, the SR-24 is essentially the same functionally as the SR-2, however it has been externally modernized. Featuring added Picatinny rails and an Uzi-style folding stock, the weapon stock can now be quickly folded and unfolded without the need to disconnect an optic from the top rail. Like its predecessor, the SR-24 fires the 9x21mm gears around from 30 round box magazines, making it deadly against both lightly armored and unarmored targets, as the round in real life can penetrate standard body armor. This weapon is primarily used by Spetsnaz operatives, sometimes even as a compact, fully automatic sidearm, but it is also quite popular among vehicle crews like tank drivers, gunship pilots, and especially S-37 Sturmovic warsuit pilots and aircraft pilots if the need arose for them to eject from their vehicles. The weapon has earned its reputation as a reliable personal defense weapon among those who used it in the new Soviet armed forces, and it would remain in service relatively unchanged, albeit with slight alterations made over the decades following Ledeskov's rule as premier of the new Soviet Union. And that concludes today's episode of Crimson Dawn Lore. I hope you enjoyed this short but hopefully informative episode, and I'll see you next week.